Hey, good morning. Yeah, well, we're at the Doc Cocktail Lounge in Barrio Logan, and Falonzo King is joining us this morning. And Falonzo, you always have a good opinion about what's going on in the world, and I know many business owners, just like yourself, are looking forward to the date June 15th. What are your thoughts? Yes, it's going to be a great time for all small businesses. First and foremost, thank you, KUSI, for always keeping us in the loop, making sure the small businesses have a voice here in the community. It's going to be a great time because everyone is finally going to get back to a sense of normalcy. Yet at the same time, it's bittersweet because us small business owners can't find any employees. So it's one of the situations where you have to roll up your sleeves and get in and work alongside the workers that you do have until you can get more employees to come in. But nevertheless, it's going to be great for all businesses, for all people. The schools are going to be open back to a true sense of normalcy and being able to move around and function the way we were pre-pandemic. So I am so, so happy about it. I want to backtrack a little bit about KUSI going out and giving small business owners like yourself a voice. Why is that so important? It's important because without you guys, we can't be heard. There is, we have no platform that will allow a small business owner to come in, sit down and voice their opinion and actually be taken seriously. Because if you go down to the mayor's office or any other venue, you can walk in and talk to someone, but how far will your voice be heard? Because you're only one person walking through a door. But you have an audience that you provide for a small business owner, and that audience will be able to spread the word, and more people will be able to hear it. That way it continuously is talked about. It, it, it's always in people's ear and it's the best thing going. So I just, I'm so happy for you guys being here. It's a blessing for me and any other small business. Absolutely. Well, we always love to talk to you, Falonzo, but I want to go back to what you said about employing people because you said business is really great, but you can't get your staff to come back to Yes, work. indeed. That, so I don't know if it's the minimum wage is too low for some people, if unemployment is comparable to minimum wage. I don't know where the difference is, Maybe it's the stimulus money added into it, whatever the case may be. We have a situation where people are just sitting at home and not willing to come back to work. In some cases, it may be the way they were treated. In some cases, it may just be some people much rather sit at home and take the unemployment than to come to work. Either way, it puts management, business owners in a situation where they have to now do things they didn't think they would have to do. You have to get in because when you have a full building and you're full to your capacity, you have to get in and make sure the customers are happy. It's all about the customer satisfaction. And well, the customers are out. Yeah. They are out. And you said Memorial Day weekend was Oh, huge Memorial for you Day guys. weekend was so, so crazy. But in a great way, it's just if you don't have the staff, people will, some people will get a little irritated. But, you know, you can only ask the public to be a little patient understand the situation that's going on yet when you go out to spend your money you don't want to have to be understanding you just want to go out spend your money and have a good time so there's a balance there and i'm sure over time we'll all work it out together and it's going to have to be a team effort because uh the last year and a half has been trying on everyone and getting back to normal is going to be a blessing for everyone. Yeah, well, June 15th is finally right around the corner. We've waited a long time for that magic number, June 15th, where all the restrictions are supposed to be lifted. So Jason and supposed Lauren will be. go ahead and send things back to you, and we'll continue this conversation with Falonzo in just a little bit. All right. Sounds good, Casey. Thank Thanks, you. Casey.